advanced hydrogen, um, testing out this new cell at high amperage, well, you know, I'm going to call 60 amps high. Um, I'm getting some pretty impressive MMWs off of this cell. Uh, I'm getting, and I can't see the paper. to see the paper. I'm getting 5.18, 5.98, 6.29. The best I got was 7.15 and uh, it was 62.3 amps, 13.08 volts. The temperature was 104. Uh, the liter per minute time was 10.28 seconds. My wattage is at 814.88 and uh, that came out to be a 7.15 MMW from uh, this hydrogen cell right here. You can see it's really going to town. See the tube? Look at that. Now you can hear it too. There's a kink in the line. Let me fix that. This hose gets kind of limp or yeah, rubbery or whatever. Doesn't seem to affect the MMW test. Get that going here. There we go. You can see how that hose is just kind of hopping around there. Doing pretty good. All right, let's get down, down to business. The uh, I'm trying to stabilize the uh, amperage. I put this capacitor on there, and uh, it's still jumping around, probably because I'm using a DC welder. I'm going to probably have to find a bigger capacitor. But uh, you're looking at anywhere from 63 amps all the way up to 71. So I'm having to take an average when I do this. The uh, volts, um, excuse me, got disconnected. There we go. The volts being uh, basically about 13, 12.9, 13, 7. The temperature right now is 118, 19 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and see how many seconds it takes to fill this container up. I'm going to sun hold it. Focus right on there. I got a stopwatch. Okay. I'll see when I start it and everything, but I do have a stopwatch right here. Go. You see the stopwatch? That was 13.53 seconds to fill that up. better times than that. One more time so we get the second one going. You ready? Okay. You see it? Marv's not landed. Twelve point oh seven. As you can see, the longer I run it, the uh, quicker the hydrogen comes out, the temperature starts going up. Like right now it's at 121 degrees. I started doing this test, it was 110. And uh, like I said, my MMWs on this cell are 5.18, 5.98, 6.29 as the temperature goes up incrementally, 110, 112, 115 degrees. Um, I did start it all again. I had 99 degrees, 100, 102, 104. The best I got in MW was at 104 degrees, 62.3 amps, 13.8 volts, 104 degrees, 10.28 seconds to fill one liter. It's an MMW is 7.15. But con consistently, I'm you know, in the fives and the, and the sixes um, on this dry cell, which is pretty impressive. I want you to see the output. Go ahead and lift that, that off of their tail. It's not hot. Nah, that's pretty neat, huh? So, there you have it, 120 degrees. Uh, the output's pretty impressive. We're looking at 12. Yeah, and uh, look at this. Watch this, do it again. That's some trick that I haven't seen anybody else do. Whoa, you see that? That's a lot of output, folks, to be able to do that. That's pretty impressive. Alrighty then. Um, like I said, we're looking at 60. 60 amps, 64. This jumps around. I, I'm having a hard time uh, getting these dry cells to stabilize. Um, even with uh, this power supply and this power supply, I've tried batteries. Um, 
and uh, the the voltage and the amperage just kind of just just goes all over the place. Um, I think it has a lot to do with this reservoir and the fact that the um, uh, fluid, the water, the uh, elect, the uh, what am I trying to say? It's really late at night. <laughs> this water in here has to go up here, come back down, and so I'm I'm assuming that what's happening is is we're having a pump in action inside the cell where it's you know the water level is going up and down, and as it does that, well, it affects the voltage and amperage obviously because you have more water touching surface area of the plates. But I'm just uh, reporting on the really good MMWs I'm getting on these cells. Um, 21 plate, 3 positive, 2 negative. Uh, best MMW so far to date is 7.15. And uh, um, other than that, that's all I can tell you. Uh, I'll go ahead and post this on YouTube. And um, anybody else getting these kind of results, you should be able to get these kind of results using these dry cells. I didn't do anything, you know, spooky or otherworldly. I just built it, put it together, and I'm running some, you know, large current through it and getting some impressive numbers out of it. So there you go.